and welcome to my channel I hope everyone's enjoying their day I just wanted to come in and share a few little happy mail packages that I had created so this is what the final packaging will look like and I will share with you what's inside and how I put it together so this is one that I have prepped to close these little bags here I got these from um, Michaels and then on the inside I just have a little small gift bag and then these are some little note cards that I created a few weeks ago and I'll leave a link to that video down below here's a little gift bag that I altered these are the little crepe paper rosettes that I have on the outside these are some of the little mini ornaments and those come from the my little Christmas collection at Hobby Lobby I just have some tool there on the top then I'll just show you what the contents is on another bag so I don't have to untie this one so this is just an example of what I have in these little bags I have some of the little doodle bug stickers and I got those from um, scrapbook.com I have a little ephemera piece stuck in each one and I have some peppermint essential oil on that these are the little Christmas tree little candy um, Hershey Kisses trees that I created and I'll leave a link to that video as well then I have a little stamp set in each one and this one I just have some little wood um, gift tags that I got from Target when they had their clearance last year and then I have some shred in there I put some sticker and then some of the fancy frill strips from Doodlebug and I'll just show you really quickly how I created this so to create the little gift bag, these are some gift bags that I had also from when Target had their clearance sale. So this is the back of the gift bag where the flap comes up where it's already creased. So I just fold the bag bottom down and just press it. And then I'll make this my front without the crease. So I take my little tiny attacher and you can use any stapler and I just staple four staples across the bottom sometimes I use hot glue but it just kind of depends and then I just do that on the bottom to make it kind of angled that way it's just a little easier to ship it's not as wide and I don't have to worry about it getting crushed to cover up the staples on the bottom of the bag I use this Aileen's tacky glue and this is one of my favorites I get these little bottles that you can position upside down from Michaels and then I use some of the fancy frills and these are my doodlebug so I just put some glue over the staples and then I just cut a frill that matches and I just use the extra glue because I don't want anything falling apart or coming off I just use these little strips to cover up the staples just glue that on there cut the end off and I'll just do the back side I don't have enough of the same one I'll just use something similar I have another little strip page here so I'll use this red one red glittery one on the bottom just enough to cover up the staples and then on the little penguin bag so this will be my front so on my penguin bags what I did is took one of these garland um, card holders with the little penguins on the clips I got these from the Dollar Tree they were a dollar and I just clipped that to the front and they just have hot glue on them so all I did was just cut the string off and you can always save this string to use on a tag it just comes off like that and I just have this clipped on the front of that bag and then because it doesn't have like a sentiment or anything on it like the Jingle Bells bag does I just use some clear stickers I use some of these paper studio stickers just so it'll have a sentiment on the bag and these are clear so what I do is just kind of 
position them on the bag just to see which one is going to fit before I take it off the plastic. I think I'll just use, use that one and turn it sideways. I'll just add some shred. And then on the front of the bag, I also put two of these little, my little Christmas ornaments. And they're already on the little strings. So all I did was loop them on the outside um, handle of the bag. Now for my packaging, all I did was use one of these cellophane bags. I just put a crepe paper mosaic on the front and on the back. And then this little thing right here that says Merry Christmas is a tag that I found at um, Dollar General. And this is the one I used here and I just put a little bow on the top. And then on the back of this one, I stapled them together. And then on the back of that one, I used some of those snowflakes and those come in a pack that I got last year from Walmart. It looks like that. And also in these little bags, you can put like these little lotions, some of the hand sanitizers that I recently hauled, and also these little tins would go in there really cute too. And that's all I have to share in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.